welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk with you about unique effects you might be missing. I'll show you 4 simple ways to take your video from good to the best. My name is Dima from Studio Znak and let's start without further ado. So the first effect is the crumpled paper effect. I already have a Kendrix clip and a few fragments from it on my timeline. We add a paper texture from our paper project over our clip. I'll trim the texture a bit, choose the screen for the blending mode, look for a tint effect and edit. Next let's add a curves effect for contrast and set it roughly as I did. Add a crumpled paper over our clip. For the main clip and texture, select our crumpled paper at the track made. Duplicate the crumpled paper and turn on the visibility. Look for an uh, invert effect and edit. Choose the screen for the blending mode. We can also add the curves to add a bit of contrast and set the curves as I did. Add one more effect. Add the posterized time effect to our clip. Set the frame rate to 12 and there we have an insanely very cool transition at the beginning. Moving to the second effect, it's called the paper collage transition or effect. At the start of our fragment, select freeze frame, right click, go to time and freeze frame. Add the cardboard texture over the clip, trim the texture to the length of our clip, set the blending mode to screen. Look for a tint effect and add the curves effect and slightly lower the curve as I did. Now we need to find three different fragments from the clip and set them over our main clip. You can find and use absolutely any favorite fragments from your video, different details. There could be uh, different faces, some glasses, chains and so on. Feel free to choose. Uh, select all three fragments, right click. Uh, go to time and freeze frame. I'll turn off the visibility of the two top fragments and position them where I like. Add the PNG paper texture from our paper pack. Move our fragments slightly to the right so that our effect doesn't start immediately. For our first fragments, select the PNG paper for track made. Now scale up uh, our fragment to fill the frame. Duplicate the paper and turn on its visibility. Set the blending mode to screen. We can duplicate the top paper again and again to better see the texture. Select the first fragment and the paper texture and do pre-compose. Name it shot 1. Trim the end of the effect. Now do the same for the other two fragments. Add the PNG paper and select paper for track made for the fragment. Then duplicate the paper and set the blending mode to screen. Here are the three fragments we got and now we can move it, rotate them and scale them. Position the fragments uh, where you like, select our first shot, shoot the pen tool and begin creating frame by frame animation using a mask. Change the position of points for the mask every fourth frame. Do this exactly along the paper creases for a better effect. After positioning the keyframes, select all keyframes. Right click and choose toggle hold keyframes. Move the second shot slightly to the right to have a sequential animation rather than showing everything at once. Uh, do the same for the other shots. The number of keyframes depending on the number of bands in the paper. After setting the keyframes, select them and choose toggle hold keyframes. Next find the drop shadow effect and edit. Set opacity to 60, distance to 0 and softness to 75. Copy the drop shadow effect and add it to all other shots. Create an adjustment layer and place it over the main clip and paper texture. Add an exposure effect. Create a new keyframe at the beginning and set it to 0. Go to the end of the effect and set it to 5. Create a new adjustment layer. Trim the length and add the transform effect. Create the first keyframe for scale, go to the end and set it to 105. Then press the stopwatch with the Alt or Option if you're on Mac near the position and create a shake effect using the expression. Write the expression as I did. Next create a basic and quick transition between our effects and I'll add them for the following transitions. Trim and add an exposure effect. 
set it to 5 at the center uh, for exposure and 0 at the edges. Duplicate the adjustment layer and place it at the end of the effects. And we created a very cool and effective transition. The third effect is called print effect. Just believe me, it's very easy to create it. Create an adjustment layer over our clip, trim the length and add an echo effect. Set echo time to something around minus uh, 0 0.050, numbers to 30 and decay to 0 0.5 and operator to composite in black. Then look for a deep glow effect and edit. Set radius to 200, exposure to 0 0.5. Add a drone element from our animated stickers project. Enlarge to match the size of our clip. I want to make a frame. Uh, look for rough and edges effect and edit. Set border to 9.1, sharpness to 5.7 and scale to 204. Add another rough and edges effect, cell type to rusty, border to 70.3, sharpness to 10 and scale also to 10. Then duplicate our animated frame and paste it across the entire length of the effect. Add the paper texture over the adjustment layer. Choose screen for the blending mode. We can add a curious effect to our paper to make it more contrasty. Create a new adjustment layer and add a posterized time effect. Set frame rate to 8. Select all and do pre-compose. Name it print effect and we are done. And we created the third effect. It's very easy to create, it's very easy to use and you can use it every time in everywhere. Let's go to our last effect, it's called paper cutout effect. For this effect we need the first frame from our clip. Simply trim using Ctrl Shift D or Command Shift A if you're on Mac. Right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. Move our freeze frame to the left, choose the pen tool and start outlining the character. You can be imprecise and it would be great if the edges weren't neat. Duplicate the lawyer with the character. Name the lower lawyer stroke for organization. For the stroke lawyer, add a fill effect and choose white color. Add a simple choker effect. Set chalk mate to something around minus 92. Add the rough edges effect. Set border to 41, sharpness to 8.5 and scale to 10. Add another rough and edges effect, select type to rusty, set border to 10, sharpness to 8.5 and scale to 46. Select the first rough and edges effect, copy it and paste it onto the upper layer with our main character. On the upper layer with our character, add the add grain effect. Choose final output for viewing mode, intensity to 2 and size to 0.8. Add the curves effect for the contrast and set the curves as I did, but you can play around and set it uh, as you like, depending on your clip. Add the CC threshold effect, set the threshold to 94, add the posterized time effect, set the frame rate to 12 and look for a tint effect and edit. Choose a color close to something around yellow. Place a paper texture over our character. Trim to fit our effect and choose screen for the blending mode. Add a curious effect uh, for contrast and add a one more effect, brightness and contrast effect. Uh, set brightness to minus 134. Duplicate the lower with the character and place it over the paper texture. For our texture, select our character for track made. Copy the effects from our character and paste them onto the next main clip. Select the entire cutout effect and do pre-compose. Name it cutout effect. Choose the pen tool and start creating frame by frame animation. Start from the bottom. Move the points up every fourth frame. After adding all keyframes, select all keyframes, right click and choose toggle hold keyframes. Add a drop shadow effect, set opacity to 75, angle to 70 degrees, distance to 20 and softness to 70. Create a new adjustment layer, add a transform effect, set the first keyframe for scale, move to the end of the effect and set it to 105. Duplicate our quick light transition which we made earlier and place it between the effect and the main clip. And here is what we got. We got something very dynamic and insanely very cool. I really love the paper effect and how it can be used. 
With our huge pack of more than 200 different paper assets, you will definitely find what you need and you can use it as you want. Let's add a few more effects for the end of our paper tutorial, add several different paper texture and scratches and set the blending mode to screen. Also at the end add a crumpled paper transition as we did at the beginning of our tutorial, but only I will use a slightly different variant. Choose for our main clip and for the texture track made to our crumpled paper. Duplicate the crumpled paper, uh, turn on visibility and choose multiply for the blending mode. And we are done. We created four different and very cool animations using various paper texture and overlays. And in my opinion, everything together looks insanely cool, effective and organic. If you want to support us and use our different paper assets, you can download this project on our website. And yes, especially for you, I have a very cool offer. Use the code PAPER at checkout and you will get a $10 discount on this project. So today we created a four different crazy paper effects. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video. Good luck.